Hello everyone, this is ATMLVE, bringing you the fifth work by NG Innovation. Today we are on a desolate moon, the second moon of the planet here, which I hoped to be on, but due to some legal troubles in the system we can't be there, so we're stuck here. But that's okay, it'll serve us well. I just want to do a quick tutorial to show you how to use the modular base assembly kit. So what you first want to do is take out a station block and put it in the ground. And you want to make sure this is relatively high, as in you want you want level ground to make the station on and then you want to place the first block relatively high above so that you don't have any conflictions later on. You need to place a merge block face up and then there needs to be a reactor connected to that merge block and that's all you have to do manually to begin the base. Next what you want to do is fly back up to the main ship. Inside you'll see lots of projectors that are turned off. These are programmed to project the small pieces of the main modules of the ship, of the, of the base that you'll be creating. You'll see here that all of the buttons correspond to a module, which are listed out. We're going to hit this one, which is the main base, 2x2. Two two. You heard it go there. So let's fly out and up to the top, and you'll see that there is now a small projection there. This is the initial base of the base. It's 2x2. Two so you want to get in the ship with um, landing gear on it so you can go in and grab. And once you do fly in here, this ship will automatically trigger a sensor which turns off the projector and the welder so they don't they aren't active anymore. And so you want to fly down, grab the small piece that you just made, and fly it down to the, the merge block that you put down before in the ground. So now I've attached a welder attachment to my ship, my utility ship, and you'll see that uh, I can use them. It's in the toolbar, so turning red, flashing red, which means they're working. So I'm going to go over and begin welding together the base. Now, the base takes a while to make since it's so many blocks. Um, if you have more people working or if you have nanobots, it can go a lot faster. So I'm going to finish welding this off screen, and then when I come back, it'll be complete. So it's going to be a pretty big jump, but what I'm welding together now is the base you're about to see. So now you can see I've completed the base below us. I know it's a big jump. It doesn't look like anything of what we started with, but I promise you the base came from the projector that we created. So now we need to put some modules on it. So we're going to fly over to this base, to the, to the ship. The main component ship. Tap into the ship's computer and an important step is to turn on projector output. That has to be done every time. It's very important. Search PRJ to get a list of all the modules we have available in the ship and we're going to start with a control room. Since this is a moon we want a sealed control room because we want oxygen. So turn it on. It'll be projected and welded together turn it right back off. So bring the piece down here and now they're merge blocks diagonally facing down on the projector piece that we have so those can merge any orientation in any orientation you want with the main base section. So you can see there are four and they all have merge blocks facing up and they're in a square so that the orientation can work however you want it to. So we'll just line the pieces up and then drop it It'll merge, and you now have the projection of the piece of the, sh of the base that you selected, which in this case is the sealed control room. We're going to go over here, though, and get another one. This time, we are going to get a, uh, a reactor module. This looks good, and there we go. Now that we have the projectors in place of the ship modules that we need, I'm going to take out a welder and weld these by hand. I feel this is faster than using the welders on my utility ship since I'm just more maneuverable. And they're small sections so they don't take long to weld together. I'm going to fast forward here and uh, you'll be able to watch me weld but I'm just going to skip ahead and when I'm done we'll come back.
So now I'm just finishing up the last pieces of the sealed control room and putting in the merge blocks finally in the top, which is our square, just like they are in the bottom of the base. So now I've completed the sealed control room and the reactor module, except for the most important part of the reactor module besides the reactors, which are, again, a square of upward facing merge blocks. So we have now completed two modules of the station. Now we need some oxygen for the sealed control room. It's sealed, it has airlocks, but there's no oxygen tanks or oxygen generators for it to use. So we have to give it oxygen. So we're going to go and do the same thing we did before. Get in our ship with the uh, landing gear attachment on. Fly over to the main ship. And we're going to look for something related to oxygen since that's what we need. So tap into the ship's computer the main ship. Turn on projector output. Search PRJ. And there we go. O2 module. Turn that on. That will turn on the projector that projects the piece that we need. Turn it back off. We don't really need oxygen tanks on the ground level. We don't need to access that very much. We'll be going in and out of the control room and we need oxygen for that. So we're just going to put the oxygen module on top of the sealed control room. Just like before, fly down, line up the merge blocks with the ones below them of the module that we have. And of course this time it didn't work. It didn't merge immediately, so we'll just give it a little nudge. There we go. So now we have the next module of the station of the base on top of a module we already created. And if you look here you'll see that the conveyor systems line up of the previously created module as well as a new one which the control room and the reactor module also do all the conveyor systems line up with every other module as well as the base here you can see the same pattern the same pattern everywhere for all the modules and the base so I've now completed the oxygen module here it has oxygen tanks and generators which you put ice into. And of course they will produce hydrogen as well. In order to store that though, you'll need a, a hydrogen module which has hydrogen tanks on it. At, up top you can see the merge block pattern with conveyor systems just like every other module in the modular base assembly kit. And we're going to finish this off since now it's oxygen module looks pretty weak. It's open we're going to add some defense to it just what we did before go into the main ship's computer turn on projector output search PRJ and this time we're gonna look for a roof and we need a, a roof with weapons on it here at the bottom there's four roofs we have uh, Gatling and missile so we're gonna go with missile fly down line it up and merge them together now I have finished the top of the Gatling roof here and we have some here's some Gatling turrets defending our oxygen module as well as the control room it's not finished up top but that's okay it doesn't need to be so I'm now going to add in lots of more modules. I'm going to go completely off camera and then fix this here. And then come back when I'm done. And uh, I can show you some of the modules, not all of them, but I'll show you a lot of what can be done in the modular base assembly kit. Something else I want to show you before continuing on construction of the base is this is a refinery module. Now it doesn't have any of the actual modules on it that help it to help them to improve and become more efficient. But you notice up here there's a projector. So if we go down here to the control panel on this ship on the station, and let me just get these real quick. Here. Finish that. Okay. Go over to the control panel of the base. Open it up. And you need to find the projector for the module, which is right here. 
on that and turn it on. And now you'll see that all the modules are in projection mode. So here's the final completed base using most, not all, of the modules available from the ship. There's an empty one for whatever placeholder needs you may have. So they were firing on the bottom cargo, hydrogen, and weapon modules. And on top of that is a, a landing pad. All four roofs are represented here, just a regular flat one, landing pad, missile, and up there is Gatling. And down here, there's the utility module with an antenna, beacon, and ore detector. And uh, an assembler module, which also has the, <laughs> the module projector on the module. But yeah, that's how you use the modular base assembly kit. Thank you for watching, and I hope you uh, will go and try it out for yourself.